most parents don't understand that they have rights when CPS comes knocking on their doors. What should you do if you're contacted by Child Protective Services? We're talking to attorney Duena boswell Oshell about that on today's episode of Ask the Lawyer. Duena, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. So what is your experience representing parents in a CPS case or Child Protective Services case? I have represented parents for practically my whole attorney career, which is, we're coming up on 18 years now. And the most important thing is, I believe most parents don't understand that they have rights when CPS comes knocking on their doors and just what those rights are and that um, it's not always the best thing to just go along with everything that CPS is, is asking them to do. So they need to consult an attorney. And what types of allegations uh, constitute a, a CPS case? There, it's a wide range. So any kind of abuse, neglect, um, leaving children alone when they're too, too young to be left alone. I've seen that one. There's a lot of abuse. Maybe they've spanked them too hard. There, there's many, it's, it's a wide range of, of different things that CPS will investigate. And any allegation that they receive or report that they receive, they're required to investigate. And if parents are contacted by Child Protective Services at home or elsewhere, what should they do? The first thing they should do is know that they do not have to allow CPS into their homes without a warrant. CPS, just like any other law enforcement agency, has to follow the same rules and they can't violate your constitutional rights and demand entry into your home. So you can ask them to allow you time to contact an attorney before they come into the home. That can escalate the case and they can go get a warrant. So if they do show up with a warrant, make sure that you, you comply with any kind of court order or warrant that they bring to your door. So if a child is removed from a home uh, after a CPS investigation, what can parents do to get that child back? CPS has requirements that they have to follow and they're very specific. In Texas, you have to have within 12 to 18 months a resolution to the case. Are they going to terminate the rights of the parent or are they going to return the child? Depending on the severity of the abuse that the investigation un re reveals it will depend on whether they can just jump straight to a termination trial without having to provide services or if they're going to provide services to try to remove whatever is, is leading to that abuse or neglect. Have you ever had a case or ever seen cases where you feel like there was CPS overreach against the parents? Yes, it happens quite often. Uh, CPS in Texas likes to get people to sign what they call a family safety plan, which is basically an agreement between everybody that the kids are going to live somewhere else. And that, that doesn't constitute or trigger those year and 18 month deadlines. And so those plans can go on a very long time. And I think most parents don't realize that they are signing the, and agreeing that they've committed this abuse or neglect. So they should have an attorney review those safety plans prior to um, signing them because they're giving away a lot of rights. But it's not an, an uncommon for CPS to want to step in and try to make parents behave the way that they think. I actually had a jury trial uh, about a year ago now that the parents had completed all their services and because they were afraid that they were going to resume their marriage, did not want to return the children. And we had to take that to a jury trial and we were able to get the children back home. And I know the CPS often kind of errs on the side of the children and that can have consequences for the parents, right? Yes, it, it really can. CPS is charged with making sure that these children are, are safe and sometimes they're you know putting their own morals and their own uh, experiences in into play when they're trying to make decisions on whether these children get returned to the parents or not. Well, Dwayne, a very important topic and, and great answers. We appreciate your insight as always. Thank you for joining us again today. Thank you. And that's going to do it for this episode of Ask the Lawyer. My guest has been Duena boswell Lochelle. If you want to ask Duena about your situation, call the number you see on your screen. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Mustin for Ask the Lawyers.